Today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the Hasbro Marvel Infinite Series Big Time Spider-Man. One of Spider-Man's many different looks finally comes in Infinite Series treatment. Maybe a little too late, but still we get a big-time Spider-Man in Marvel Infinite Series. Packaging is the exact same as all the figures that we've gotten from this wave. Like it or hate it. It's interesting. It's really not interesting. Who am I kidding? I like the Marvel Universe packaging much more, but it is what it is. Flip around the back of the package, there's a pose of Spider-Man. Big Time Spider-Man says, Spider-Man's new suit has omni-harmonic mesh, bending light to make him invisible. Other figures available are Beast, two different colors of Beast. There's Hawkeye and Daredevil. To check out more Marvel information, upcoming movies and comics, you can go to www.marvel.com. Spot's going to take a break and get this guy open up. When we come back, we're going to get a better look at Marvel Infinite Series Big Time Spider-Man. There's more handy way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Getting big time Spider-Man out of packaging. He's a great looking figure, but sadly, the one figure that you would want a display stand for, he does not come with one. Now, I know he, the other figures, sadly, in the set didn't come with display stands either, but Spider-Man, come on, guys. You gotta give us a display stand for Spider-Man. He has peg holes on the undersides of his feet. They're there, yet you don't give us a display stand. Spider-Man's coloring is basically all black, but it's more of a shinier black color, black plastic. And I say black plastic, it doesn't look like it's painted. The only paint that's on him is the neon green treatment in the web here. But it looks like the rest of the figure is just relying on black plastic rather than black paint. Could be a successful look, at least it looks consistently clean. For, uh, well, I was going to say for his details, but really, there, again, there's not much to say in the way of Spider-Man here. He's got uh, basically everything on regular Spider-Man is here, more in a Tron treatment. It does really look like Tron. And it's also in this neon green. He's got the neon green in his eyes, as well as the front. A couple of line panels on his forearms, his legs, and his feet. And then the singular bat, uh, spider logo on the back there. I also don't know why they felt the need to sculpt his buttocks so, uh, so muscular. I don't even know why I would have brought that point up, but at any rate. Um, Spider-Man clearly probably was used from a previous Spider-Man, indication by the idea that he's already got the spider web shooting hand in place, and he's skinny. It's usually the indication for me. Uh, but he's a great looking figure, and if anything, they would have reused this probably from a newer current Spider-Man versus an older Marvel Universe Spider-Man. Uh, joints, very articulated, but still don't feel super loose. And also even in his legs here, his legs are ball jointed, making me think it's a later release Spider-Man that they used for this guy versus, uh, you know, a newer Spider-Man mold. Or newer Spider-Man mold versus older Spider-Man mold. In the way of his articulation, as Spock continues to kind of play around with this figure, his head is on a ball joint. It's on a ball joint that you can rotate the head all the way around, but you really can't move his head up and down. Arms are on a ball hinge joint. They rotate out, uh, rotate all the way around as well. Nice bend in the elbow, which also rotates around. And hey, look at some of the webbing treatment that's in his wrist area there. A little circular. I like that. That's a nice, uh, nice artistic treatment. He doesn't have any waist swivel. Essentially, they, I guess they didn't want to break up this mold. And really... For a waist that small, it probably would have got loose after time. As for his legs, though, his legs are on a ball joint, so they rotate out very easily, forward and back very easily. He has a double hinge in the knee, and also a hinge and rotation in this foot. Uh, love this figure. He's, you know, one of the many, many incarnations of Spider-Man, and of course we're going to get so many more costumes of Spider-Man. I like this figure. Wish he had an, uh, a display stand, but I can easily remedy that with another figure stand that I have. But uh, I like this figure. A big time Spider-Man, I'm going to give him an 8.5. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look 
at the Marvel Infinite series, Big Time Spider-Man. Thanks for watching, as you always do, guys. Certainly stay tuned. Spot's going to have more Toy Spots heading your way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.